uh, and especially appropriate for this day, this Mother's Day. And so, Jennifer Bryan, I invite you to come up. Good morning. Well, I wasn't scared, but now I'm terrified. So, <laughs> um, for those of you that don't know me, I'll give a little bit of my background. Um, I was born in London, England. Um, I came to know the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior when I was 11 years old. Um, when I was 18, I moved up to Buckinghamshire to go to Stoke Mandeville Hospital to begin my training as a nurse. That's where I met my husband, um, and um, we married, we had two children. We lived in um, Northamptonshire for seven years, and then we moved to America. Um, when we came over here, we had the two children, and as time went by, we had two more sons. And the testimony I want to share is about our youngest son, Douglas. Um, when he was 10 years old, we were at a Dunn's Corners um, health fair, and he asked if he could go and have his blood pressure checked. I'm like, of course, go ahead. And um, when he came back, the nurse came with him, and she said that his blood pressure was extremely high and that we needed to take him to see a pediatrician. So we did that, and it was still very high, so we were referred to Hasbro Children's Hospital, and um, they discovered that both of his kidneys were very badly damaged. And um, as a baby, he used to run very high temperatures, and I guess he would, had been having urinary tract infections that were never diagnosed, and it damaged his kidneys. Um, I was heartbroken and terrified as a mother, and prayed constantly for him, and then one day, Douglas came to me and he said, Mommy, am I going to die? <laughs> no mother wants to hear that. And then I realized that our children are not our property. They're a gift from God. And it was then that I said, Lord, I give my son back to you, not knowing what was going to happen. Um, time went by. He continued to be seen by a specialist. And... Um, when he was a young teenager, uh, we always attended a Pentecostal church, and there was going to be a healing um, ministry. And we had the minister come, and at the end of his sermon, he said, I believe there's someone here with kidney disease. And Douglas asked if he could go up. We went up with him. We laid our hands on his back, and we prayed. And as we prayed, the power of the Holy Spirit went through him. He said, I could just feel God's power going through me. We saw the specialists. And they ran all sorts of tests. Both kidneys were completely normal. They were no longer deformed. Blood pressure gone. And to this day, he is healed. That's the power of our God. 